Revelation 18. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was illuminated with his glory. He cried out mightily with a loud voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place of demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit, and a haunt for every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her sexual immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you partake in her sins, and lest you receive her plagues. For her sins have reached up to heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to her as she has rendered to you, and repay her double for her deeds. In the cup which she has mixed, mix a double portion for her. To the extent that she has glorified herself and lived luxuriously, so give her torment and sorrow. For in her heart she says, I sit as a queen and am no widow, and will see no sorrow. Therefore her plagues will come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she will be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. The kings of the earth, who have committed adultery and lived luxuriously with her, will weep and mourn over her when they see the smoke of her burning. Standing far off in the fear of her torment, they will say, Alas, alas, for that great city, that mighty city Babylon, in one hour your judgment has come. The merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her, for no one buys their merchandise anymore, the merchandise of gold, silver, precious stones and pearls, fine linen, purple, silk and scarlet, all kinds of scented wood, all artifacts of ivory, all merchandise of costly wood, bronze, iron and marble, and cinnamon and incense, myrrh and frankincense frankincense, wine, oil, fine flour and wheat, cattle and sheep, horses and chariots, and slaves and souls of men. The fruit that your soul lusted after has departed from you, and all the things which graceful and exquisite have departed from you, and you shall never find them. The merchants of these things, who gained wealth by her, will stand far off for fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was arrayed in fine linen and in purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, in one hour such great riches came to nothing. All sea captains and seafaring men, sailors, and all who trade by the sea stood far off and cried out when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like this great city? They threw dust on their heads and cried out, weeping and wailing and saying, Alas, alas, that great city, in which all who had ships in the sea grew rich from her wealth, in one hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and saints and apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you against her. Then a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, With such violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more. The sound of harpists and musicians, flute players and trumpeters shall not be heard in you anymore. No craftsman of any craft shall be found in you anymore, and the sound of a millstone shall not be heard in you anymore. The light of a lamp shall shine in you no more, and the voice of bridegroom and of bride shall be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery. In her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all who were slain on the earth.